Well, hello, darlings. It's Miss Tia. I hope you're all doing well today. I thought it about time to get caught up again on these streets. Let's talk a little bit about some of the stuff been going on. Now, I'm going to start with a little bit of sad news. Because it seems like, you know, last time I talked to y'all, we were talking about Trevor from Trev Time, and he had gotten some threats, and that crazy woman with the pew-pew that she showed on the community post. Well, now Trevor has decided that this is just not the platform for him, and he left these YouTube streets. And darlings, I can't say I blame him. I sure can't. Things be just, they just getting worse by the day, seem like. So, yeah. So, I wish him well. I hope he finds some streets that be much nicer to him. And then, Tiffany Marie, Lord have mercy. She back. She never gone for long. And y'all, like, when are people going to learn with her? When? When we learn? Because she did a live stream just the other day. I was over on her side of the streets and... You know, emergency me used to be like one of her besties. You know, like she she always be like bragging on her and she always have her on her panel and she always, you know, this and that and, you know. Well, Tiffany has a history of that. You know, she, she always got somebody, they have bestest friend. And then, lo and behold, here she come. Do a whole live stream just dragging them. Like, they are the scum of the earth. And that's what she did to emergency me this time is now, you know, she did this whole thing, just dragging, talking about all the stuff emergency me did and, and something about she, she spammed her discord with emojis. Like, what the heck? Come on, Tiffany. And so, yeah, that's what she be doing. And so, like, I want to know, like, can't y'all see, like, people, like, she done this so many times, like. How many times, how many people she had that was her friends, and then all of a sudden, she just turned on them, and they her worst enemy. Like, there's a whole list of people, like, you could just talk to, to any of them, like, you know, before y'all get up all in Tiffany's group over there, y you need to be, like, getting some references, and y'all need to be talking to some people that can kind of tell y'all the experiences they be had with her, because... She's a snake, and she ain't never gonna change. Like, that's just the way she is. And so, like, who's gonna be next? Who's gonna be next? I tell you what, I'd be watching my back if I was over there with her. I'm telling you. So, y'all, come on now. People got to learn sometime. This would be crazy. Pe people think they're they gonna be the exception. You know, she ain't gonna do that to them. They're the exception. They really going to be her friend. Tiffany ain't capable of having no friends. What's, mm, mm Come on, people. So, yeah, that happened. And then we still got the Sebastian Rogers case, which is just heartbreaking. How many of y'all saw the Web Sleuth live that she did with Chris Proudfoot and then Seth came up there? Did y'all see that? It was, it was a few days ago, I, I don't even remember what day, but, like, you know, I like Trisha from Web Sleuth, you know, and usually they do a pretty good job over there, but I, I think she, she got a little bit over her head with, with Chris Proudfoot because I don't think she was quite prepared for what that kind of live stream was going to bring, and so it did get a little bit out of hand, but mostly what it was out of hand with was that chat, like, she... I, she probably didn't realize that she probably, you, she needed to have like 50, 11 mods or something. Like she needed to have so many mods over there because they couldn't keep up with that chat. That chat was as disgusting as I think I've ever seen. I can't believe people be acting this way up on these streets. Like you actually, some of that stuff these people put in that chat, like I'd be embarrassed to know you. Like, come on, folks. And the accusations that be flying, then you know, like, everybody knows. Everybody already knows what happens. They done solved the case. 
they ready just to, you know, they don't need to have nobody charged. They don't need to have no trial. They don't need to have nothing because they already know it all. That was just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And I hate that that happened to, to Trisha and Webb's Luce. I, I really, I really hate that happen on their channel. But, you know, I mean, this this case is volatile, man. It's, it's something. And, I mean, people be, I don't know. So many people be getting involved in this, and they just doing it for the hype. You know, they just doing it because that's like the topic to be talking about on these streets. Like I, I seen today where people be claiming they saw some shadows or something from some back porch, and and that was somebody be taking Sebastian. They they say, like, I mean, that's as bad as the finding something on Google Earth from two years ago and thinking it applies. Like, folks. Come on now, use a little bit of that common sense, cause I, I mean, surely you got people got a little bit of it, right? Like I just I, I don't know. And then also, y'all today, like or I don't know what day it was, but like supposedly somebody, I think it was today, somebody be calling in to like T Rev or something, and they they be saying they cri Chris Proudfoot's cousin or something, and then when he was little, he used to put frogs in his mouth. And and he knows that 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 he's guilty and that the district attorney going to get him. Okay, first off, dude, listen. I highly doubt you're his cousin, but if you are, what the hell does putting frogs in his mouth have to do with this case? Like, are you kidding me? Like, when he was a little kid, he put frogs in his mouth. Like, what the heck does that have to do with the price of tea in China? Give me a freaking break. And and then, like, you know he did what? And, and what district attorney you be talking to? Like, I'm confused. So that was, y'all know that was the freaking hoax. And that's what people be doing. But you know what? These creators on these streets, man, they, they, they just latch hold of that kind of stuff. And then they're going to be talking about that for the next two or three days until something new in the case pop up. You know, I, it's ridiculous. Absolutely. I, I just can't, y'all. I just can't with this stuff anymore. These people just, mm, mm, make Miss Tia want to, well, if I said what, never mind, I ain't going to say that because I don't, never mind. Never mind. I'm going to be good. I'm going to be good. I'm going to be good. So, yeah, that's what be happening on these streets. And, and I just, I know there's a lot more be happening. But, you know, I can't even, I can't even talk about. Well, I, one more thing. The Karen Reed trial started. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Then had two days of it. And, and now, now they done took a break. They ain't having court today. Man, no wonder they say this trial going to last for two months. They're already taking a day off. And then tomorrow, I think they're having a half a day. Like, do y'all people work up there in Boston? I don't know, man. Anyway. So, yeah, that's happening, too. So, I don't know. It just all be crazy. Oh, and then Ziggy did a live where she was showing people how to cook yesterday. Um, But she was making some rice. And she used the little packets to come in the ramen noodles. Those was her broth for her rice, and then she picked some onions out the neighbor's yard and, like, those things that grow in your grass that you mow over. Like, she, she picked them and she used them. That way she didn't have to pay no money for some onions at the store. And then for her cheese for her rice, she pulled a packet out the macaroni and cheese. She sure did. I don't know. Y'all need some cooking tips. Y'all go on over to see Ziggy. All right, darlings. Well, Miss Tia gonna get on off of here now, but you know, I'll be seeing you soon. Bye, darlings.